That was the sound my mother heard one dark and stormy night while my dad was out of town on business. Contest master, distinguished judges, fellow Toastmasters, the sound continued. My mother lay in bed, thinking for sure that there was an intruder in the room and this was going to be it. This was going to be life or death. She was going to fight, and she was not going to die. She opened her eyes and looked around. No one was there. Again, the sound. She jumped out of bed. But nobody was there. Again, third time. She pinpointed the sound. It was from behind the headboard. She looked around, looked. Ah! It was a gigantic rat. The toe was this long, but it was three bowling ball sizes big. And she immediately thought of her two boys laying next to the bed asleep. Boys, boys, get up, get up, get up on the bed. What, Mom? What? You gotta get up. There's a giant Godzilla rat. It's gonna eat us all. Giant Godzilla rat. It's gonna eat us all. That's cool. <laughs> How do we keep it in the room? How do we keep it in the room? If it gets out, it's gonna eat us. It'll hide behind a box. It'll jump out or leave me. Ah! Okay, what do I do? Uh, you can shut the door. Oh, yes, I can shut the door. That's brilliant. She shut the door. All right. Now, how do we kill it? How do we kill it? If we don't kill it, it'll kill us. Uh, you can call Grandpa. Yes, yes, I can call Grandpa. Now, Grandpa was a farmer. He knew how to get rid of rodents. Okay, yes, yes, I'll call Grandpa. Now, forgive me for my lack of enthusiasm over my mom's big Godzilla rat. She had a habit of calling everything a Godzilla rat. <laughs> I knew this, Grandpa knew this, everybody knew this. Everybody, out of the room, out of the room! Go sit on the couch, I'll call Grandpa. So we're sitting on the couch, she calls Grandpa. Dad, 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 there's a giant Godzilla rat that's gonna eat me and the children. <laughs> oh, a giant Godzilla rat's gonna eat you and the children. Let me tell your mother. Our daughter says there's a giant Godzilla rat that's gonna eat me and the children. Or yeah. her and the children, not me, but that'd be bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice, dear. Tell her we're very proud of her Godzilla rat. <laughs> uh, your mother and I are very proud of your Godzilla rat. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. You gotta get over here. You gotta get over here. There's a giant Godzilla rat that's gonna eat us. Seeing that my mom was not to be consoled, in walks my grandpa with his pitchfork. In walks my grandma with her curlers and her broom. <laughs> All right, where's this Godzilla rat? I'll take care of him. It's in the bedroom, it's in the bedroom, behind the headboard. All right, I'll take care of it. He walks in, looks behind the headboard. Holy witch Jesus, that's the biggest rat I've ever seen. The toe was this long, the body was three bowling ball sizes big. I sat on the couch, stunned at what I was hearing. I looked at my brother, I looked at my mom. I told you it was a big rat. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it, get up with your broom. Stab it, stab it! Oh, this one's a slippery one! Oh. I cannot believe what I was hearing. Stab it, we got it! Oh, you're not getting away from me! Stop it! It's under the bed! It's under the bed! Hit it with the broom! Hit it! Hit it! Stop it! Silence. Out walks my grandpa. The proudest I've ever seen. He was holding. The biggest rat I had ever seen. The toe was this long, but it was three bowling ball sizes big. He took that rat, walked out onto the porch, dropped it in a bucket, and disappeared into the night with Grandma. I was impressed. I was inspired. I wanted to be like Grandpa. One day, I too would kill my own Godzilla rat. Mr. Contest Master.